The Fox 11 investigation into the L.A. Fire Department's pa paramedic response time crisis continues. Tonight, we focus on one especially vulnerable community that's been waiting for decades for enough fire stations and proportional emergency response personnel. New at 6, residents in Silmar say they're worried if a loved one faces a medical emergency and paramedics are busy tending to others. Gina Silva joins us now live from Silmar with those details and concerns. Gina. Big concerns, Marla and Alex. The residents of Silmar say this community has been growing and growing, yet the city of L.A. is not providing enough fire resources. Take a look. Deep in the San Fernando Valley, Silmar is a community that has seen its share of natural disasters. The bulk of the fire is kind of to the to the north and the east of us. From the devastating Merrick and Sayer fires in 2008 to the Creek Fire in 2017. The plants out front have caught on fire. The palm trees in front have caught on fire. And most recently, the Saddle Ridge Fire in 2019, which started in Silmar and moved to Porter Ranch, destroying multiple homes. Silmar has always been on the cusp of having those disasters. We suffered 30 homes lost about seven years ago. It's just going to happen again. It's going to happen again. <laughs> A fast emergency response is important to this community, like any other. Yet, as Silmar continues to grow, they're building more and more and more all the time. Well, Too many people, right. no firemen. It's like, yeah, we don't have enough terrible. here. The city of L.A. has never delivered what it promised. A second fire station, LAFD Station 31. This is a photo of the groundbreaking ceremony on November 1st, 2006. When? When is it going to happen? We had we had 20 years to figure it out, and nothing's happened. Unfortunately, the uh, the developer that was responsible to help deliver that uh, was never held to fulfilling that commitment. Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez represents the seventh district, which includes Silmar. She's also chair of the Public Safety Committee. Rodriguez says even if the city could deliver that fire station now, there's another problem. Even if we had the fire station right now built. Uh, we don't have the staffing levels to actually, you know, operate it. And so that is what we're critical. That is a critical piece that we're working on right now. You can use staffing situations or finances that they don't have the staff or they don't have the finances to do it. Well, they've had 20 years to prepare it since they admit 20 years ago there was a need for it. So has that need diminished? No, we still have their med medical emergencies. We still have one of the busiest hospitals. And Silmar is just growing, just like anywhere else in L.A. Silmar has one fire station, 91, which is consistently busy covering the largest geographical area of the San Fernando Valley. Comparing fire resources with cities that are equal in population and demographics, it breaks down like this. Silmar, one fire station. Burbank, six fire stations. Downey, four stations. Santa Monica, five stations. Now granted there is a huge economical difference in that and that has some bearing but not any bearing when I'm having a heart attack or my loved one's having a heart attack or there's a car accident. Lack of fire stations and resources is affecting the entire Los Angeles region. <laughs> As we reported in our investigative story into the L.A. Fire Department, emergency response times are taking longer and longer. This right here is a dispatch map of Los Angeles on Tuesday, February 14th at 1.18 p.m. Each little section is a fire station district. Threat means the station does not have an ambulance available. I'm getting older and this concerns me on the response time. The city is responsible for this community and every community in Los Angeles. Fire Chief Kristen Crawley has already told us the department is doing what it can to hire more personnel. They currently have five fire academies and she's asking for an additional five. But the residents of Silmar say they've had, the city of LA has had more than 20 years to fix this problem. Where was the planning? That's a good question. Alex, Marla? Way to keep asking those questions. Gina Silva, thank you for that reporting tonight. Another